In this lesson, we will finalize the villain's left arm. So, getting started, so we scroll up there, you can see we have some issues here. The arm collapses in on 38. And if we play this back, we can see that it actually falls faster than the rest of the body. So, we need to, to fix that. What I'd like to do first is work on the elbow. Let's go ahead and grab the left elbow. Let's have it hit faster. So it's almost as if the elbow leads and the wrist follows. So I'll drop it on frame 28 to hit the floor. And now we can have it bounce back, but not as fast. This is way too fast. This changed from 28 to 29. So I'm going to grab the key on 29, move that to 30, and I'll make sure that the elbow is still down here, but on its way up. And then on 32, we can go ahead and bring the elbow back up as the arm starts to come across and land. Great. Now, with the elbow still selected, Let's go ahead and tweak its pose on 40. I'd like to bring this forward because it's going to need to be brought forward anyway when it comes time for us to have the arm swing around. So we're just taking care of that now. And the next, we can go ahead and work on delaying the entire arm. So with the elbow still selected, we'll go in and grab the left arm control and let's delay from 36 to 40 two frames down. Very nice. So as we play this back, we're getting a really nice drag from the left arm. All right, let's go ahead and continue. So now we need to work on the arm's arc. With the control object selected, we'll go ahead and view its trajectory. We'll go ahead and get started by first tweaking 38. We'll need to bring the arm over a bit more. Let's adjust the wrist. Keep in mind follow through, so we'll want it to drag behind just a little bit. And then we can go ahead and have the elbow lead, so we'll bring that forward on 38. Great, so that's looking nice. Let's go ahead and Rotate the wrist back a bit more here, just to exaggerate the drag. All right, so it swings around, and then by the time we get to 40, we'll add an in-between where we bring the arm up and still create a drag in the wrist, rotating it back in the x-axis. We could have the elbow drop just a little bit more. And now we can scrub through and take a look. Beautiful. So that's looking very nice. Let's now check the arc again. Selecting our arm control. Looks like it's been brought over too much on 40, so I'll just go ahead and Drag that around much better. Now that's nice and polished. Great. Now when it hits, when the hand fondly plants, of course we'll want it to slide a bit and have a slight bounce. So let's have it slide till 46. It's a few frames after. We'll also go ahead and rotate it out in the z-axis just a little bit towards the legs. All right, let's play this back. Great. Like that. All right, so next we can go ahead and work on the bounce. So we'll add an in-between on 44. Well, we lift it up 
ever so slightly and then rotate the palm down. Very nice. Okay, just taking a look, making sure that the fingers don't intersect through the floor. So I might bring up the palm a little bit more on 44. You could always go in and animate the fingers to bend on 44. But remember, it all depends on your shot camera. If you don't notice it, then it doesn't need to be added at all. But you have that option. You have the choice. And if you do decide to do that, I'd recommend isolating the hand animation, setting keys on 42 and then 46. That way you can go ahead and add your in-between safely on 44. But it's not necessary here. I think this looks great. Alright, so let's go ahead and move forward. You can see how the hand intersects the ground plane. So we need to fix that. We can go to 32 and rotate it up in the x-axis a bit more. Do the same thing on 31. And 30. Great. Very nice. All right, well, let's take a look. We'll play this back. And in no time at all, we have finished the left arm. It's very exciting. All right, great. Well, at that point, we can go ahead and check the shoulder. Just making sure we are keeping volume. What I'd like to do is have the shoulder slide forward a little bit more when the arm falls. So we'll have that happen on 44, just kind of rotate it down. And then to have it settle in, we can rotate it back just slightly on 48. Just so it doesn't come to a dead stop, it, there's still a little bit of movement there. I might even bring it down a bit more on 44. And not as much on 48. I'll drop it a bit more. Great. Let's check for twisting. So you can see on, on 40, have a little bit of twisting. Let's go to our modify panel. And I'll first start by, again, making sure we have enough key set. You can see on 36, that needs to be tweaked also. But we should have keys on 32, so we're good to go there. I'll go back to 40 to make a slight tweak. Might help to zero out our channel first and then start to tweak the, the twist channels. That looks great. And now we can go ahead and fix... 36. So again, let's zero out our twist channels. And then we could go in and fine tune this a bit more. Great. Very exciting. All right. So again, that finishes our work on the villain's left arm. We only have the right arm to take care of. And Believe it or not, we don't have much to do. We are, we're actually getting a really nice bounce from it. So I'd say once that's polished, and then once we add a bit of movement so it kind of slides at the end, we're good to go, and we can move right to our last character.